Hey guys, what's good? Um, so today we're not doing our normal regular vlog. I think that we'll go back to our normal like schedule starting tomorrow. Just I really wanted to take liberty today and just like focus on resting and de-stressing myself because I've been really pushing myself quite hard, um, especially these last couple of weeks. And it's not been like anything concerning or like I'm pushing myself harder than what I actually can do. I guess you can make the argument about how often I've been drinking caffeine, like sure, in a philosophical way I might be, but really it's just, if I went from not doing that much for the past year to doing everything and then some um, every freaking second. And so, uh, but the thing is, what's tripping me up is that this morning when I woke up, you know, I was so exhausted, but you know, so I have class, you know, so I'm still going to push myself to get up, to, you know, go about my routine. And so I go to the shower, I wash my hair quite thoroughly. I use the last bit of the shampoo that I bought from Beyonce. Don't worry guys, I have a whole new bottle that was literally um, waiting for me in the wings. So we got that, it's not like we're, we're gone. It's not like we don't have our anyway. Like we do, we need, we need our health to be healthy. We need it to be healthy. However, I, I, I used the last bit of the product, got really good sudsy in there and detangled with my hair. Just to come out of the shower, sit down on my desk, open my laptop, and see that my teacher is sick, and thus we will not be having class uh, today. So, yes, I was a little bit disgruntled, um, but I was just like, whatever. I messily like took my uh, sleeveless shirt and just wiped my hair dry. I think I kind of put it in like like a like a shirt bun a messy wet shirt bun and then i went back to sleep for a few hours uh and then around noon i woke up very hungry because i had not ate and normally like i would have had like a good amount of food by this time by this time and so i made myself some food but Honestly, it was kind of hard to just do those actions because my whole body was so sore from not only cheer from the night before, but literally the night prior, um, rugby, that was, that was a lot. Um, I'm exercising a lot of muscles I haven't done in a long time and quite frankly, probably since the pandemic started. So it's just a little iffy there, but I am coming along and the good news is that with each practice I am getting less sore in those places moving forward even though I'm kind of like getting more sore in general. I hope that makes sense. It makes sense in my head but when it came out in word form it didn't, I don't know if that made, I don't know if that made all the sense. Did it? Anyway, so what I did, it was like, let's just lean into it, all right? So I took um, an Eddie. I took an Eddie and a sh I took it to a Shroom Eddie. I took an Eddie and I took a Shroom Eddie. And that kind of just like knocked me the fuck out for the rest of the day. Um, I fell asleep for, I think I was like sleeping from four to like 7.30 p.m. And then um, I got up because my friend Maria uh, came back and she got her things and she unfortunately was feeling sick. And so she's literally flying back uh, uh, early tomorrow morning. She already left. So around 10 30 tonight, she left to go to the airport because she was like facing like experiencing a lot of anxiety um, about not being there. And like, I don't know, I felt, it was felt weird because like the vibes between us definitely fell off. And you know, um, her stay here wasn't what I expected. It's not what I thought. And her, her being the way she 
approach to stuff. Like, I guess I was just giving way too much, I just credit to her. I think I had way too much optimism on how our dynamic would work. And so, I don't know, maybe I wasn't the best host, but like also I didn't think that she'd be with me for this long. And she also got sick and other stuff. So I don't know, like, I don't know if she was like really like anxious or she just was like ready to like kind of move on. But that said, like she does have a long history of being like nervous and anxious about travel and she doesn't do well flying an airplane. So I know that I, that much is real, but I don't know how much of the other stuff contributed to her desire to just like get up and leave to the airport six hours before her her initial flight leaves. So. But yeah, that's been my, that's been my day. Uh, I've I've been in pain physically, mentally. I've been somewhat distressed, but it's also just exhausted. And spiritually, I'm really ready to move on to the next day. We have our alarm set for 5:45. So with that set, I'm, I'm I am expecting to have a healthy helping of coffee and going to the gym for a, a bit and a half before going to uh, uni to go to uh, international space law class which i most likely have reading i have reading to do that's what i'll do tomorrow in the morning is i'll do reading while i'm making breakfast but yeah that's 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 basically been how my day is i it has just been so like in orderly and I've just not been there. I'm so exhausted. Like this is a huge feat for me to like make new videos every single day. And I hope you guys can like, you know, appreciate the effort that I'm putting into it. Cause not, yeah, it's just, it's just a lot, but I want to keep this up. This means the world to me. And yeah, that said guys, I will see you in the next video. I will see you in the next vlog. Take care. Peace and love and bye. It's a daily vlog.